Okay, this is the second chat, and I'm going to talk a little bit about history so we understand 21st century psychotherapy that has several branches. But we are going to have to begin with 1856 in order to understand 21st century. Because in that year, two men were born that have set the course that for therapy, psychotherapy, in the 21st century. The first man was Emil Kraepelin. He was born in 1856, February, in Germany. He, he became a doctor. He went through medical school, went into research, and then decided to move beyond just neurology and study psychiatry. And so what he did is he looked at first, Dr. Kraepelin, looked first at the way psychiatric patients were treated in Germany. He was a very charismatic man. He ended up at the University of Munich in the head of the department. And he also started an institution that was a new study of psychiatry. He did not like the way patients had been treated. They'd been treated moralistically. They were slapped, punished, locked down with chains. He said that's the total way not to go with psychiatric patients. And what he began was saying that the way to go was with drugs, psychopharmacology. And so what he did is he became the father of psychopharmacology, the, it's called, considered the father of modern psychiatry, and the father of the diagnostic and statistic manual. Those who now rewrite the manual every year call themselves Kraepelinians after his name, Emil Kraepelin. Now, one of the things wrong with Dr. Kraepelin, because I can find, and I'm sure any historian can find, something wrong with everyone that comes up that's very creative. This was a good man, but he noticed as he began to lump clients into categories, and he, along with a fellow worker in, in Munich, came up with our now diagnosis of Alzheimer's. So Kraepelin, this, that's an example of his categorization. But he noticed that people were coming into his office and into his clinic, and as he did this, he said, you know, if you go back in their history, there are people who are like that. And so he gave a genetic basis to psychiatric illnesses. But his mistake was that he said, he knew Charles Darwin, and he said that in previous times, those people would have been weeded out. They would not have been able to survive in a hunter-gatherer village they had to move to keep finding food. They would just have been left. And so he began to look down upon, or I guess that would be the phrase, the history of people with physical illnesses, psychological illnesses. And he happened to name the Jews who had a lot of nervous illnesses that came into his clinic. And so that fed into later the Nazi ideology. That was one of the main sources because he was the primary doctor in Germany. He died, as it says, in 1926, late 26. So to understand the 21st century, we know that people now go to diagnostic areas in medicine, psychology, people with a doctor's degree in psychology, social work, marriage counselors, and they're put into a category because what was learned in the 20th century is that medical facilities, insurance, and, psycho and pharmaceutical companies join together so that the people seeing psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers could get insurance funds. So that became the dominant form in the 21st century. Now we'll continue in history in the next chat 
with another person who was born in 1856, so we understand the situation. 